ないこの俺が人間なんだよおー Alright, so in this one,、uh, I had、uh, probably gonna pop up right here this comment that I put on the Gogeta 4 video that if it got 100 likes, I will do 8 Vegeta. I will re go at him, try to see if he can do better, and、uh, we're doing him again because that has like at least over 100 when I post, it probably has like more, but right now it has like 110 or some shit like that. 8 Vegeta. Now, 8 Vegeta is someone that is, <laughs> firstly, he's red. Uh, stat wise, I'm looking at eight stars here. He has 234 strike attack, 215 blast attack, and defense is 150s. Okay. Kit wise, he does have、uh, damage to blues, damage to Goku's, reduced DNC from、uh, Tag's Sun family, and gets 80% damage inflicted at the start, reduced DNC by 35%. And basically, you want to lead with him and build up with him. How you build up is you come in, that's 20%, you swap out, come back in, 21%, that's 40%. And then do it one more time. 60%, that's his full buildup. So he has to come in and out three times to get his full damage. So, yes, you lead with this guy, similar to you lead with Bardock. You lead with 8 Vegeta so he can get his peak damage, right? Then, his other unique, reduce,、uh, well, other part of his unique, reduce enemy key by 20 every time Owen attack is evaded with the Vanishing Step. Okay.、Uh, restores health by 5% after enemy attack is over, so he can heal up to、uh, 20% there every time.、Um, After enemy attack is over, which can help him sustain a little bit, then his other unique here reduce the MC by 30% for three timer counts.、Uh, when enemy is a special move, awakened, or ultimate arts card, while this character's on the battlefield or on standby. Okay, interesting, definitely unique there. It is a unique, so it is unique to have that. <laughs> then the other part of it applies one effects to self upon landing a strike or blast arts hit. Restores key by five, gets a strike card next, activates once, then activation counts reset when character switches, so he can keep getting that strike back when he comes back in, does a strike, gets a strike back, right? Does any card, strike or blast. Then plus 50% special move damage inflicted for, 15 for 20 timer counts. Then restores own health by 20%. Once it reaches zero, he has endurance. And while this character's on the battlefield, when causing someone to revive, the character revives with 30% less health, and that cannot be canceled. His arts, he decreases his blue card cost on his strikes. His blast, very normal. His blue card, pretty good here. Actually, is one of the better facets of his kit. Deals massive impact damage plus 15% special shift damage inflicted for three time counts upon activation. And short and sub count by five to self on hit. And he has blast armor on it. And you can obviously keep having that blue card do that because it's always on hit. Lowering sub count, lowering sub count, lowering sub count. Green card, it is a、uh, not fast animation, but is a normal startup. And a normal animation length, so you, you miss it, you can't sidestep out of it. It's not like、uh, Majubes where you can't sidestep out of it. You can actually sidestep out if you do miss it, but is it typical AoE green card similar to, let's say, Maj and Vegeta's, right? Not too quick, not too slow, in the middle. Gets、uh, key back, gets key recovery on activation, then on hit, he draws a blue card from it, plus 20% damage inflicted to 20 timer counts, and a knowledge cover change for 5 timer counts, and you can chain it into everything in his kit. Then his ultimate. Deals massive impact damage, applies full effects to self upon activation, minus 100% enemy stain damage, cut effects, and、uh, well, for 30 timer counts, then can nullify、uh, endurance for 10 counts after popping the ultimate, which is nice because some units only have for like three counts super injured. I believe it's only like five counts he can nullify endurance after popping his ultimate, so it is nice to have 10 counts there on top of blast armor for him. So, Vegeta, his peak damage against all peak scenarios would be 40%, 65%. Uh, 145%. Then, if he's peaked out on his swaps, that is 205%. It's pretty high, right? Everything peaked out for him, 205%. Then, his blue card can get up to about 220% because you have this little、uh, thing here. I'm not counting his card arts with the green card giving him buffs. Then, if we're up against a normal setup where I'm not going to maybe run into, let's say, a Goku every match, I run into Super Saiyans where it's Ultra Gogeta, Super Vegeta, and Bardock. Okay, there's no Goku, so I'm missing on damage there. We get about. 160. Now, his damage inflicted, where I'm not running into a blue or a Goku, would be, let's see, 80 there, 140, and then 155 on his blue card. Now, 140 is an okay peak. It's a pretty good peak, actually, because Bardock peaks out like 160, then his first card does like 190. It's a good peak. It's just that his stats are super low with him being red.、Uh, it, it's just not the most favorable thing in the world for him. You know, he does have a、uh, at least decent main ability here. He only destroys one of your own cards and then draws ultimate. 
Obviously, you want to do this like after a combo ends, so you don't actually destroy something that's valuable. Then gets health back, gets ultimate damage, and then plus 20% to ultimate damage against ta uh, Tag Sane or Sun Family. But overall, I we'll see how he can do. You know, I meme on this guy a lot that he's just mediocre, trash, the worst uh, current, current LF of 2021. That actually might change with Rose right now because how many yellows are meta, but I mean... I don't know. We'll see how he can do. I think this is his best setup because Frieza Force is where he's going to draw those blue cards more because obviously Zenkai Frieza supplies that. Um, we do have lowering sub count with Zenkai Frieza. That can also help him. Uh, Bench-wise is pretty ideal and equip-wise I do have pretty ideal, perfect stuff. There is an equip that you can't change for this, which would be the Vegeta doing Big Bang. That's an Awakened Silver. That's more strike attack, especially with damage and ultimate damage, but I value the more HP that he can get since he can heal over time and have that sustainability. I value that more, so I'm going to keep that on him. The other two equips that we do have here is this one here. Again, ideal for him. Critical, Strike Attack, Strike Attack, Strike Attack, and Special Move Damage. Then Tin Men, which is a Double Blast and Pure Strike, obviously with a melee battle member, which is himself, which is going to be very nice for him. Zenkai Frieza giving Double Attack, Vegeta giving Double Attack, Pazza giving Strike Attack Defense, and I believe uh, Blast Attack. Cooler giving Strike Attack Defense and Blast Attack. Because Vegeta is leader slot there, he's going to get everything. Orlin giving high amounts of strike attack defense. And then Chilled, who is offering some HP and health restoration. Because, well, Vegeta does have that healing aspect. He has healing equips. He has, well, HP or equips. Um, on top of he could heal on his main ability. I don't know if I could do more for him to look better. And I can't really say more. <laughs> With that being said, let's see how Ape Vegeta can do in PvP. First match up against, uh, purple, purple, blue. All right. Well, obviously we have to leave with Ape Vegeta every single match just to see. Okay. Love the lag here. Had to leave Ape Vegeta so we can actually get the, uh, build up for him. This is super laggy. Always enjoy that. Obviously Podza here is more strike based, which will help us out. Okay. We'll pop the screen card, get some sub count down. Again, the whole premise will be Ape Vegeta. So I'm trying to focus Ape Vegeta here, right? That's not going to change during this entire video. Ape Vegeta, Ape Vegeta, Ape Vegeta, Ape Vegeta. Okay, so there's blue card. Second time coming in, so we have 40% damage inflicted flick build up here. Let's see how much the blue card can do. We do have support from uh, Zenkai Freeze as well. Very good blue card damage there from Mr. Ape Vegeta. Very nice, actually, to Super Vegeta, who is probably Zenkai buffed, right? Okay. I mean, yeah, this is a little bit tough to register my inputs, but, you know, we can hopefully manage here. I'm trying to sidestep. Let's go quickly. Okay. Predict this? No? Caught him there. I'll see how much this one does. <laughs> I mean, I'll take the blue cards, right? We have a lot of lower and sub kill on this team as well. Get our vanish back there. Cool. Caught him here. Let's go for this, because he might go for that blue card there. Just want to be safe. We'll go to Zenkai Frieza here. Again, our sub count is super lowered at this point. Swap here. No? Okay, I'm going to rush then. Uh, he might sack off Super Vegito, which would be a smarter play. Yeah. We won't be locked in here. I did two blue, two blue cards, so hopefully he does not guess me on this. So far, though, Ape Vegeta did two blue cards. They did about, um, what was that? Like 70%, 60% to Super Vegito without even his full buildup. We will get his full buildup on this come in here. It does take a little bit because obviously three swaps is 30 time accounts minimum, but we can lower that and kind of fix that with our uh, main abilities, with our uh, lower sub count, all that such, right? Cool. Let's go instant. Okay, caught him there. Um, go into you. Okay. Well, he's going to swap here, so I'm going to drop. Mm -hmm. We do more to blues. It's unfortunate he destroys a card there, because I could have had that blue card kind of ready. It would be nice. But remember, we do do more to blues with Ape Vegeta. I believe it, it's 35% or something like that. We have his full build up at this point, so let's see how much we can do to Mr. Ultra Vegeta. Wow, a 1.1 million there, huh? Just about. All right. And we have the green card. And is he dead? I think he's dead. I could have went to Pazza to be safe, but I think he's dead here. Ape Vegeta? Oh, ah, oh, okay. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't manage it, unfortunately. He is still neutral here, by the way. Just FYI. Okay, right, swap. Let's go quickly. I try to swipe up and tap, but okay. So this. He doesn't have anything here. I mean, he does, but like, I can just do that. Okay, sidestep again, sidestep again. Okay, oh my god, that actually killed, wow. Uh, we'll just go for a blast instantly. Cool, we'll tap out. Okay. I mean, I mean, this is a good team. 
And A Vegeta did everything that match. That was very nice damage from A Vegeta. Let me, again, check real quickly. So Sun Family? And it's against that... Wait, let me just check one more thing. Uh, if it's against just when he's up against them, or is it if they're on the, like, fight? So, let me just make sure. So if it's a blue Sun Family, I assume it's the whole thing. But if it's, like, only blue, then it's only this. Let me see. So here it is... Okay. So it's only restricted. Okay, so it's not like if I'm fighting against Goku Vegeta, I'm gonna do extra to um, the blue part, the Goku part, because there's a blue on the team. No, it's just to that specific thing. He does extra to that specific thing. So right there to Ultra Gogeta, we had on that uh, ultimate, we did about 1.1 million. We had our full buildup. We had 80% there. We had 60% there. We had 180%. I believe on his main, he does give some blue card damage inflicted. He had about 240% there, and it wasn't saying. He had about 260% with support, which is about 290% to damage afflicted right there. Right? And then does the blue card give a buff? It, I believe it uh, does give, yeah, minus cut. About 290%. That Gogeta was neutral. doesn't really matter, but... Um, hmm. Not terrible. I don't remember the stars. I can actually check real quickly here if uh, I'm going to be real. Hopefully that was a high star, Mr. Ultra, right? Because that would have been a little bit disheartening if it wasn't at that point, but... Can we uh, see this here? Legends? Load? Legends? Thank you. It was... Uh, it was only a 5-star. I, I assume Zenkai buffs. Not terrible, right? Decent there. Not the worst. Let's keep going. GT. Alright. Um, a little bit worse team that we're fighting here since the last one, but uh, okay. Let's go for a blast instantly. Cool. Let's go for another one. Alright. PV that. We'll draw a strike here. Swap or no? No? Okay. Um, we'll do this, and then we'll kind of just get out of here real quickly. Have this here. This green card is a quick animation for this Frieza. Catch? That sucks. Okay, hold on there, though. Uh, you wanna IT out? No? Okay. Didn't think you would. Catch? That time I waited, so that time I went quickly, and it kind of worked out. Okay, cool. Get that PV there. Our second comments, we'd have 40% here, and we are up against Sun Family. So you're doing nice damage to, obviously, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is disadvantage, and we will rush here at this point, because probably can't swap. I just did a green and a blue. Greens are less predictable, because I don't draw greens anywhere. Hopefully we cannot get guessed here. And Ape is doing okay, right? I do have pretty much... Again, this is the setup where, like, I'm gonna focus Ape, because I'm doing all these random strike buffs where it's just him leader slot and really, and he's getting the support, he's getting these blue cards, like, he's getting everything he wants, so I'm hoping he would impress at this point, right? Which he is. He is impressing for, for now. Let's just see if it continues is all. Okay. I'm going to pop this here. I don't know if he could swap. He just came out of work. I don't think this will kill. It goes through cut 100% and he doesn't have that 80% cut anymore. This will get very close. We're not fully peaked out yet. Okay. He was close. Again, I, I'm not going to disrespect him if he's close. It, it's like, you know, if you're close, then that, that matters, right? That's actually like relatively uh, pretty nice if you're close. Oh, I thought he sidestepped there. That's fine. We're not going to die to this or anything. <laughs> um, he does have a rush. Obviously, he'll rush here, but if I can wait a little bit to go into Ape. No? Okay. We'll take a lot, but we won't take too much. He is obviously neutral. We'll go G to 4 here. Um, hmm, it's a little sticky because... Oh, not too much, actually. Surprising we took so little. Holy shit. Why did Freeza take so little? Okay. That blue card's not going to kill me. Actually, we'll swap into 8, since I can't get his full build up and we are Endurance. Oh, I meant to swap. Okay, let's go to Ape here. Draw Strike Arts here. Hmm. Okay. Doing well there. Kill you? Nice, called him there. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit impressive. A little bit impressive there, Ape. Yeah, he's doing well. He did well this match. He did well last match. Ape is doing nice. This Gogeta 4 is super tanky, man. Wow. Taps might be able to kill. Nah, he's built super tanky, this guy. Let's try to win this. Nah, we're not winning that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can go to Ape here. I thought he would die a little bit quicker than this. Yeah, look at... His damage is nothing, but his tanking is like... I mean, it's a lot. Doesn't Ape have like 35% cut or something? He has more cut against Sun Family, I believe. Which obviously isn't this, but he has innate cut, right? It's Blast. It's Blast again, you're dead here. Okay. Get the windscreen as well. I'll try to get his LF. I like his LF a lot. I do like Saiyan Saga Vegeta, by the way. Like, I mean this guy a lot, like, as just how he is. But uh, here he's doing well. I like Saiyan Saga Vegeta. 
I hope he can still uh, impress as we continue here. But those two matches, he did well. He carried it, and he's designed to carry in this video, right? Obviously, Podza can do the work and kind of, like, help out. But this is a Vegeta. Like, I am not focusing anybody else but him. Like, I'm making him come in when I don't have to. I'm making him do... Like, this is him. And he's doing well when it's for him. So, I like to see that. Androids! All right, let's keep this ape showcase going. I mean, this this is the man of the hour. Okay, obviously, early game, we will not do the most damage because, again, we have to get that buildup of swap in and out, swap in and out. Now, that kind of scheme for him, is that great? I don't think it's the greatest. I do think um, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not the greatest, right? Given we do have some units that lower sub count that do help him, but this is, again, a more ideal setup for him. So it's not going to be the most commonplace thing you'll see. What is something we can at least experience here, right? Can I draw something here? I did. Then, oh, if that was Dragon Ball, that would have been so nice, but that's okay. We have 40% now. We're not up against these special tags here, you know, Sun Family Saiyans, nothing, nothing to amp them. So this is just raw 8 Vegeta, and we are just seeing it live in action. Let him die. Let her die, rather. Um, I mean, she was the free unit, so letting her die is maybe not the most ideal thing, but okay. You do you. Yeah, death. Alright. Okay. Again, this is... This is him doing well, you know? This is not Zenkai buff, it's not anything amplification. This is a normal team, which is him as leader slot, doing well as a uh, leader slot unit on a Frieza Force build. Let's see if we can land this. Ah, oh, I thought he would go for one there at mid range, not float back again. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we won't swap here. Oh, now we will. I thought he would uh, swap to 17. Oh, did he drop on that? Ah, I thought I could work that out, that's fine. He dropped again. Oh. If I did a strike there, I actually would have called him. Let's go to you. Do you have a rush? Probably, right? This match could get close. I do want to see it get close. You know, I want to see matches where it's like, I gotta, like, work for it. I haven't had to do that yet, so maybe this Android match can uh, supply that for us here. If I could tap, that'd be great. Okay. Destroy basically my whole hand. And up my sub count. That's really bad, upping my sub count there. Okay. Dude, this paralyze is gonna fuck me here, and I can tell. See, I can tell. Okay. <gasps> yeah, that paralyzed, man. I wanted to swap to eight, but I held back against it, but I should have done it. Okay, did not think we'd die from that. Wow. Oh, I sidestepped. Oh, I guess it didn't register. That sucks. It's fine. We are double advantage here. Has car draw speed. He can stall me out. Okay. Tap. Okay, that's fine. No blue card, right? No, no blue card there. He didn't catch me. Mm, I can go to Ape right here, but I'm not going to draw anything. It's a blast. Rush? No, no rush there. Obviously, I do have Endurance, so rushing there is not most ideal for him. We'll do this. Pop that there. We do lower sub count on the blue card, but I'm going to try to do something here. And catch him! Alright, good. This match should be in the clear now, because we at least killed somebody. I can just go for a blast instantly, and voila, he's gone. A little bit more of a struggle, because we're not up against a certain tag where he does more damage. He was doing okay damage there, for sure, but he's not doing extra, because, again, not the certain tags. Not saying it's not Sun Family, not Blue. Um, literally nothing there for his amp, but he was still doing well, right? Nothing too bad. He was the one doing everything of the three units, and Podza is very, like, regarded as, like, a high-tier one unit, if not maybe even, like, a low, low, low S-tier unit. So him doing competent damage in comparison to Podza is nice, right? Mono purple. All right, we will struggle here a little bit. I can feel that, but let's see. Let us see my man ape. Hopefully we can pull some shit out of a fucking hat here and kind of pull something crazy off. I'm actually going to go for this. He has no uh, vanish here, right? Oh, he got it back in time. Well, it's going to be a lot. Yep. 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 <laughs> okay. Sidestep there. He has nothing here. Um, We'll go for one more. Super Vito is probably going to come in soon, so let me just go to you in case. Then I can just kind of have you eat this instead. Strike, tackle. No. He has three blue cards already. Okay. It's a lot of fucking blue cards, by the way. <gasps> um... Hmm... We'll do this. 
Lock him for a little bit. He probably thinks I have a rush actually doing that swap there. It kind of indicates that to me. Go to you. He actually let me get that. Okay. We're in a little bit of a bad spot here if he... Well, we're in actually a dead spot if he covers there, but he didn't. Lower our blue card cost. Do some damage to Goku, who is obviously Goku. So we're doing extra damage. Not bad there for a full combo. So we're saying to Goku, obviously not the beefiest guy in the world, but, you know, doing something there is nice. We have our 40% here, not 60%, so we're not fully built up yet. Let's go instantly. I caught him. So this Goku's dead. That's one character dead from 8 Vegeta. Nice to see there. We will go to Podza here. So we can get our build up as well as uh, maintain advantage in the spot. Okay. Oh, he went more quickly than I anticipated. Okay. Obviously, that lowered sub count does help a Vegeta. If he does rush here, I can swap. Yes. That lowered sub count on Vegeta's blue card that he lands obviously helped us right there. Get out of there. Not let Frieza die. Have Ape lose his first life. Green card. Sad. I believe I have a green card in hand here. Okay. This is a little bit sketchy. Ape is at peak damage right here, uh, except the blue part, but, you know, peak damage against this enemy here, at least. I caught him on that. I think the only play here is to rush. I don't think there's a better play, because if he can't swap, then that just ain't happening there because I rushed, right? Just be safe. Rush right there. Try to kill this guy. Hopefully we do not get guessed. Blue card was obvious because I did draw one on the green. Okay, yes, that's exactly why I picked Strike, because I drew one right there, and that was, you know, mind game. Now we do have Goku Vegeta coming, which is Sun Family and Goku, because it is Goku Vegeta, so we are getting more cuts on top of more damage. Again, can be nice here. I just don't think we're going to tank much in this spot. And, oh, he dropped there. And we're not going to do any blast damage. Okay. I mean, Ape killed everything there. He killed Goku. He killed Super Vegeta, giving a rush, but he still killed him. And then he made that happen. Ape did quite literally every single thing in this entire match. In this entire video so far. I mean, hey. Mono Purple's a good team. Blue, blue, purple. Or purple, blue, rather, was it? It's a good team. Android's not the greatest. GT, not the greatest. But two out of four really good teams. Against eight Vegeta. Just basically soloing every single match. You know, I gotta give the props. He's doing well here. Let's see if he continues again. Yellow, yellow, blue, Eloise. I would say Eloise is about a top seven team, if not top five, on a nice day here. So, I mean, th this is it, right? Like, this is one of the better teams. This is, team's been buffed to fuck recently. Like, this is one of the cream of the crops of the game right now. Let's just see how we can do against it. I dropped there on purpose, by the way. Okay. I got, obviously, his uh, heal out that he does get for uh, being below, I believe, 70% HP, which does help him get damage, but it's okay there. Caught him there. This should... Proc your revive? No! Yeah, this team has so much HP. I don't think I sidestepped yet. Let me try to tap him. Just, I just want to get this revive out. Like, getting that out, obviously, quickly is better. Then I have my main ability here to kind of get key back and stop time event. So hopefully I can catch him here. We do have a strike-based team, so he can't really cover change on me as well. Okay. Go quickly. Oh, why did my audio cut out? Hold on. Wait, what just happened? Okay. That's fine, I guess. Go into you, a Vegeta. Can I have my audio back? Hello? No, wait, it's not coming back. Okay, well, guess we'll play this here without audio. Oh, caught him there. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm trying to get this going here while I'm doing this match, and it's not working out the greatest. Uh, can I do this? I think this doesn't drop. Okay, I'm just not gonna have audio this match. Cool, got it. Blue card didn't pop his main there. Yeah, I cannot get audio back. This is so sad. <gasps> really? Wow. Why is it not working? Okay, we'll eat this. I'm trying to play the match while trying to get audio back. Okay. Sweet. Oh no, I gotta swap out there. Can't nullify my endurance. If you don't hit me. Um, why is this not <sighs> working? Hello? Please work? Oh, I guess I'm cool. I wasn't even paying attention. It's blast. Okay, I just can't get audio back. Well, let's, uh, guess challenge run this match without audio. Next step. Cool. Let's chill out here. I'm just trying to get away from you, sir. Don't want to be near you. Go to ape. No. Can't nullify endurance fully. We do only do it on our ultimate as well. We're doing a lot of damage here. Obviously, this is our 60% here. 
We are fully built. I am actually just going to pop this here. I'm going to a blast. Get a little bit more damage. Obviously not going to kill this guy. His fucking 60% cut. I really can't get... Why did it not just... Why, why is it not working? Please? Please? No? <gasps> this is going to be fun to fix later. We know five or ten counts, by the way. Ten counts. That's why I rushed there. Can I? Please! <laughs> Please! Terrible timing! Probably the hardest match I'm up against here, and it's just not working. Didn't get Gus. It is ten counts, right? Hopefully I didn't fumble the bag here. Why is it not working? I'm actually confused. Please? Please? <gasps> Please? Please? Just bought these headphones. Yeah, it is ten counts. There you go. Had to make sure. <laughs> by testing it. Uh, he's gonna... Get my ass here. Yeah, had no vanish back, unfortunately. I mean, okay. It's fine. Here's a blue card here. Pop it. I don't think it kills. Yeah, it doesn't kill. Uh, we can tackle. Yep. He was charging, so he couldn't sidestep there. He charged a little bit too long. Oh. We're going to kill here. Uh, Pods is not a slouch. It's just that he's not getting any show in this video. Kill Mr. Uh, full Power. We do not have Endurance with Ape here, unfortunately, anymore, but that's okay. No, I'll sidestep. I'll sidestep again. Cool. And Ape can uh, wrap up this Frieza again. Ape soloing basically everything here. He did uh, not kill one character and also had no audio, so yo yo blue LOE, which is probably the best LOE setup. We uh, kind of slaughtered with Ape Vegeta nullifying that Endurance and uh, obviously having that lowered sub count on the team. Saving him from getting rushed, because if he got rushed, I would have lost this match, which is nice. Let me try to fix this audio, but winning without audio, I mean, that's pretty cool as well, right? Androids. I do like showing these more than the actual, like, Saiyan matchups, just because this team, obviously Vegeta's not really getting, like, a peak setup or, you know, peak stuff out. So he is doing a pretty uh, less than average, because obviously it's not, again, more ideal for him. It's just a setup that's more just... Throwing about than anything, right? Let's go to Podza here. Cool, cool, cool. Swap. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, I called him there. That sucks. I don't have a card there, unfortunately. Oh, I had enough time. Wow. Swap here. Mm. Let's tap again. It's fine. Have 40% build up here. Obviously, because we led that's 20%. You get another 20% there. Hmm. Okay, let's try to win this. Okay, we will not draw a strike here. It is when we uh, land the arts, but we did not land the arts. We just clashed, right? It's going to do a lot. Sheesh. Yeah, that was a lot. That was definitely a lot. No rush there, unfortunately, drawn. Let's go to you. Wow. Ambitious swap there. Okay, let's blast. Oh, can't blast. Never mind. Unfortunate. Let's chill out then for a second. PV that. Cool, cool, cool. We'll just stay in. Obviously, he's going to swap. Oh, yeah, she's back, huh? Okay, we'll do this. Go for that. For our sub counts for Mr. Ape. And we're going to rush. He's going to swap into the uh, blue 21 to eat this, obviously, because she wants to die so it can get uh, he can get Dragon Balls, right? I believe it's two Dragon Balls he gains after she dies. Okay. Don't get guessed there, which is nice. Ape not really carrying the hardest here. He is trying to, but, I mean, that blue card was very devastating where it was four cards. 21 has very good stats on top of the support from the other 21. It's going to be pretty hard to, you know, eat that, right? Let's chill out here. We do still have endurance, at least, though, because he didn't kill my first life, right? He just did a fuck ton to it. Not really caring too much about this ultimate. I just popped that first stop time event, and we will throw this blue card here and kill. Okay, this most definitely kills. We have our full... Everything, we have support, we have everything we want there, right? We get the LF, or are you going to leave? Yeah, figured. Ape doing well there, again, not his best setup where he's up against, you know, Goku, Blue, all that, but pretty nice there, right? Future here, not the greatest setup for it, but it's still Future with uh, Goku Vegeta there, obviously. Okay, caught him there. Uh, we will drop here because Trunks. No, no swap. I really thought he popped a green card there. All right. No green card is fine with me. He's going to swap here most likely. No. This guy just doesn't care. There it is. Let's slide step here. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Call him there. We'll obviously pop this. Get our sub counts down. Goku. Or Vegeta, rather. <laughs> Goku. 
We obviously do do more two blues, so I do want to see what he can do against blues. That is his whole uh, premise of the kit there. We are going to pop his gauge here. To Trunks, not sure the star amount, but from 8-star Vegeta, about half HP there, okay. That's something, right? It's not negligible, it's something. We know special cover change here. And I'll pop this blue card. Can we kill his first life? Okay, it made him scared enough to swap, which is pretty nice. We are going to lower our step count as well by doing that as well. Okay, he reduced by Zamasu. He is getting a little bit of build up here, obviously, because of the uh, hit he did take. He needs three more to get his peak build up, which obviously you see is kind of needed because he's doing no damage to my Zenkai Freezer here, who is not even built that. Like, he's built wall like equip wise, but like team wise, it's not really centered around this Freeze to be like a wall, right? Interesting to pop that there. Okay. Throw this. Actually, it's gonna pop it. This nullifies endurance. He's probably dead here. This is raw. We do have... Do we have any blue card or ultimate damage? We don't need it. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. There's there's Frieza. Not his showcase, but I mean, there's him just nuking the shit out of somebody. You're gonna rush here, surely, right? Rush. Oh, you have a blue card. Okay. Dude, that's so little damage, man. This Zamasu. Yeah, man, I, I down talk him pretty often, that Zamasu, but like, you, you saw that right there. Like, that's that's negligible damage, to be real. Vegeta doing nice to him, though. Ambitious to do that. Yeah. He, he's doing good this entire video. I, I don't have a complaint. Um, if there is something that I dislike, and it's really not even like... It's his fault, but it's not his own fault. It's that it's not the cre- Like, start. Like, right here at the start of this match and the start of the last match. Like, let me look at the difference between that damage. Because it was obviously Android's last match. In this match, it was, um, you know, with uh, a blue uh, Sun family with a Saiyan. Like, right? So, against just normal stuff, he's starting out with... What is that? Only 100%. Given that's not low, you know, Bardox, and I defend Bardock to hell and back, given he's yellow, which does help him a lot more, uh, he starts off with 90%, right? So that's, like, comparable. But the only issue I have with that is the less cut. While, you know, it is not needed 50% cut, because that's 15, 35% there. Obviously, he has full 35% forever. Um, it's just that his start is a little bit lower than I would hope, because then with the support, he has 130%. If you're running other LS at, you know, the age he's came out at, um, they can get up to, like, 150 as quick as he got up to, like, 140. So, a little bit of an issue there when you're not up against, you know, um, either a blue or a Goku. But, when we're up against something like that, we were up against a blue, so against Trunks, we had, what is that, 120, 140% when we first started that match. Then we had 160% because we had another stack from this 20% that he builds up. Then when we were up against Goku Vegeta, we had, what is that, 80%, 105%, 125%, 125% right there, start of match. So yes, he can start a little bit slower, which is an unfortunate circumstance, but at least we do have the manipulation with this team once again. It is the best team for his damage individually, maybe not for like an ideal perfect setup of like, okay, I'm trying to like have his endurance be like used every single match, build him in a tanky setup, no, this is more of a damage setup to get him to do his peak damage because that is what is important for him, his damage, right? Getting that build up, getting everything going for him, having that heal as just a thing in the back. It is nice, but if there is a uh, issue I have with it, it's just, it's restricted to a point to where it's unnecessary. His restriction doesn't need to be as strict as it is. If he had it just Sun Family or Blue, then it gets, okay, this damage, this damage, this uh, reduced damage received. It'd be a lot better because of his low stats. That's the thing holding him back to the biggest extent. Just the stat spread, right? Let's keep going, though. Purple Vegito Blue, huh? All right, Fusions. Let's see how we do. Call him there. Obviously, Gogeta Blue is not the uh, craziest tank in the world. So, you know, he ain't tanking much, obviously. If we catch him here, he probably dies. Do we do enough? We do not have any buffs going. Yeah, okay. Obviously, the build-up buffs is what I'm referring to there. Let's go to Podzo. Let's just try to color counter this guy out. Cool, I'll do this. So we can lower some sub-count on Ape there. Get him back in the quicker the better. Wait a little bit. All right, well, there's that gray green card from Purple Vegeta Blue. That does quite literally nothing. Hey, look, we're back to neutral, and now you're a little bit fucked. Hey, look, Purple Vegeta Blue, pop off, man. 
Great stuff there, Mr. Purple. Great stuff. Yeah, I figured you were back, but at least we can lower sub count if we swap out here. Because it lowers sub count by five. On hits for Vegeta. Tap again. Oh, he went instantly. Well, that sucks. Uh, Gogeta Blue. Yep, 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 yep. Do have lowered sub count. He's gonna pop it here. No? Yeah, he needs to build up. And we could go to Vegeta because, again, that lowered sub count. Very nice on his blue card there. I do wish it was on his green, but, again, that's just... You're going to land one with the other, right? You land the green, you land the blue, because you draw the fucking blue from the green. It's just that the blue uh, would be... It's just less safe at that point, right? Uh, okay. See, I don't want to... Oh, I'll rush, I'll rush. This is scary for Vegeta, because obviously... I mean, look who's right there, right? We're going to be locked in with Ultra Gogeta, who is... Uh, he's blue, you know, given he's blue, but it's like... <laughs> This is a red. It's not. It's usually not going to end well unless I just get lucky or just get a good scenario for myself, right? So we'll find out. But I was hesitant to even do this situation here, right? It's. <laughs> it'll be scary. Obviously, with Ultra Gogeta having that big nullify endurance for so long, we gotta be careful here. Let's pop our main. We'll wait out a second because we're locked in for like five counts. Okay, this is gonna catch me here, isn't it? This blast. Yep. And we just gotta go. Okay. We clash here. Oh my god, you fumbled that! Okay, we do more to blues. Are we peaked out or are we at 40%? I believe we're at 40% here. We're not at full build up yet. Okay, well, we, we lasted, right? We lasted during that, so that's nice to see. That was all up to a clash, but we did last. It's fine there. Okay, you're gonna rush, right? Are you rushing? No. Okay. I honestly thought he had a green there. Okay, well, let's kill you. I'm getting a little bit scary here because he does draw an ultimate. He can kill my Podza, and Podza's obviously someone I'd like to keep alive in this match. No. I have to tap out. Got me on blue card. He knows I'm locked in, but I have a blue card here, so surely you can't do anything, right? Nice damage there. Okay, I did figure he had a green card with Gogeta Blue. That's why I played that a little bit passively. So it's blue card, we're not gonna kill, he cancel my buffs. Gogeta's just a fucking tyrant. And again, I left though. Alright, I speak of tyrant, I'm using a love Zenkai Frieza. Alright. I mean, not the greatest team, obviously. <laughs> I think he just pitied me, because he had a better team there. It's just he brought Gogeta Blue and Purple Gogeta Blue, but Vegeta lived against Ultra Gogeta. Obviously, that's just a player difference where, you know, I got him to live. It's not like, you know, he let me live there. But nice stuff from Vegeta. We'll do one more match and wrap it up. This entire video, I've enjoyed using him. I've enjoyed how good he's been doing. And there's not really much cause for issue besides what I mentioned last match. But that's the only issue I do have with him right now. Uh, I did mention the lower stats, but I didn't really point out that the lower stats do hurt him as well. Obviously, he has eight stars. Probably the higher that you're going to have him at this point because, you know, you're not really pulling for eight Vegeta. But at least this video could help see there's some good in him, right? Last matchup against New Zenkai 17. All right. Wow. All blast hand, huh? Oh, he destroyed my... Okay. Tap. No. Yes. Couldn't tell. He destroyed my damn <laughs> card there. That's a lot of damage in 17. Yeah, 17 can do very good damage here. Obviously, a full strike base build for this Android team, right? Okay. Swap there. I do want to get the build up going, right? He has a blue card here, surely. No. Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's swap out. And just let you eat this. Um. Hmm. So much damage, man. This is very good. This is very good to 17. He has to have a blue card somewhere. He hasn't done one yet. Hmm. If I do catch him here with Ape, we're in a good spot. There it is. All right. It's a lot. Catch? No. Oh, this taps, man. Caps are fucking killing me. Oh, you're in a bad spot here. I believe you're dead. Ape, kill on this? This might have been a little bit uh, presumptuous to do before that other one, huh? Ape? Oh, <laughs> I mean, that was good damage, right? It's not like it was bad. It just sucks that we didn't kill. Uh, we'll kill you here. Taps, please. Okay, I had a tap there. Let's go to you. Do this. Why did Pop late? No! sucks okay 
If he rushes me like the wolf, Mr. Pod, so obviously does offer a death buff as well. Damn. Oh, we can go to Ape it at least, actually. Okay. Gets his gauge. Almost built up there. Obviously, Cell with gauge is going to be a monster here. Calm there. We'll go back into Ape. Obviously, we'll have that full build up here with Ape. 17 having cut as well is a little bit of an issue. Um, you gotta throw this here, right? There's not really a better spot. It sucks we uh, lost the ball there from Cell, because I would have rushed the 17, but it is okay. How can we do on this? It should do well. Should do well. Pretty good damage there. That 17, man, he's no joke. They, they made him very, very good. He is. I mean, destroy my fucking card. It really fucks me there. But he is one of the better, uh, probably the best EX Zenkai in the entire game, right? This is really well. They designed him so well. I, I can't get over it. People like to call uh, the 17 <laughs> the better than Kale, and you know, to some degree, uh, I, I, I can't feel it. It's just like, ah, uh, like, uh, that sucks that that could be true. Okay. Pop main here? Yeah. He wants to rush, obviously. Okay, tap out. He doesn't want to swap here. Called him there. We still have our full 60%. Obviously not against any of the specific tags that Ape gets more damage against, but we're doing nice here. We are probably... I'm going to do this. Yeah, I just want to destroy the ultimate. I, if we're not going to rush, I don't mind not rushing. I feel like he's chasing for a rush, but if we're not going to rush, I mean, it's fine. All right, get that PV there. Yeah, this guy destroying cards, man. It is a bitch. It is a bitch and a half. It's fine. He doesn't have the ultimate. This is going to do a lot. Like, sell his gauge. He, he's there, right? He's there to do a lot of damage. Blue card, or blast there. Caught him here. And do we wrap this up? Oh, the blue card cost. Ape solos again. Against the androids as well. Not a team that he gets more damage against. Yeah. Ape can look good, man. This is a team that is uh, specifically designed for Ape to look... Obviously, not Zenkai buff, not artificially, like, boosted beyond belief, but to look good, and god damn it, like, he, he looked good there, man, and, and, I mean, yeah, I, I don't really have much else to say, he looked great, not really much issues, I, I'm surprised, I'm genuinely surprised that he look, looked so well, what do you guys think of Ape Vegeta, he looked good here, this entire video, I'm happy to see it, Ape has redeemed himself for me, I, uh, Maybe not am an ape enjoyer, because I don't think he was that overwhelming force of God that, you know, he maybe could be in the future. But right there, he looked good. You know, this guy could get a Saiyan Saga plat, he could get his own plat at some point. So he can get a lot of buffs. You know, we just have some normal basic ass equips here. And having that and still winning and kind of just slaughtering with only Ape Vegeta doing like everything for 95% of the video. I mean, that's something impressive. And you know what? A lot of LFs actually can't do that that are... Probably worse than this guy, you know, Rosé probably can't do what Ape just did, because he loses damage inflicted as someone dies, and, you know, he keeps going down, down, down. And, I mean, Forku needs his whole allies to, like, get fucked up. Ape? Just swapping it out, swapping it out. Like, it's not that bad. Let me know what you guys think of Ape Vegeta, and I'll see you guys in the next one.